Your Excellency, what would you like to tell us about these uh, 100,000 uh, uh, doses that have been uh, uh, received here in the Minister of Health from the friendly country of India? Uh, to start with, it, uh, it was a great pleasure to receive His Excellency, the Indian Ambassador, the Minister of Health today, uh, who delivered 100,000 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine which is a gift from the friendly government of India and the people of India uh, to the Sultanate of Oman. Uh, this vaccine is well known internationally by either Oxford vaccine or AstraZeneca, but the right of production was given to the Indian Serum Institute, which is the largest institute uh, in the capacity-wise in production of the vaccine. This is the second type of vaccine we received in Oman. The first one was a Pfizer which we vaccinated over 28,000 so far. This is another addition to compact this virus and uh, these uh, 100,000 doses will vaccinate 50,000 people. The same as uh, Pfizer, each person will require two doses uh, in time interval of about four weeks. I need to remind everybody that no country can vaccinate all its population timely. Therefore, if we want to protect ourselves and the one we love and our community uh, and the world actually, we need to continue doing the right thing. Unfortunately, it saddens me to see people abandoning now the wear of the mask, uh, the gathering in big numbers, uh, the also not keeping the physical distance. The Supreme Committee is continuously meeting and assessing the situation locally, regionally and internationally. The last meeting, we took some measures, and unfortunately, we might be forced to take further measures if people do not apply and listen and do what's been recommended, not just for the sake of recommendation. These are scientifically based. This is the best protection we have at the moment. Uh, the vaccine, again, to go back to reassure those who received the first dose of uh, Pfizer vaccine, there has been a delay in delivery from Pfizer internationally, not only to Oman, but they will receive the second dose before the middle, hopefully, of February. And there is no negative effect on the efficacy of the vaccine by this delay. The company issued circular or and from press release information that up to six or eight weeks between the two doses actually does no harm. The efficacy might be even better. For this vaccine, which we received today uh, from our friends in uh, India, uh, again, the interval is four weeks. That, therefore, the target to vaccinate 50,000 individuals only and keep the other 50,000 doses for the second dose. We are working with uh, different companies, but mainly concentrating with uh, Pfizer and AstraZeneca. Uh, logistically, it's easier to deal with two companies for vaccine. We are expecting also from uh, COFAX, which is the International Alliance for Vaccine, uh, managed by WHO, we are expecting to receive the first uh, shipment before the end of February. That's an expectation whether they'll be able to deliver or not, we do not know. And we requested to limit the vaccine to Pfizer and AstraZeneca. We are working with branches of AstraZeneca worldwide to try to, risk, to, to secure as much as we can from the vaccine, which is only one part of the process of, production, of protection vaccine one element but we have the other which uh, which proved to be effective and that's what every one of us should be responsible to do wearing the mask again keeping your physical distance avoiding gatherings but, uh, particularly uh, in closed doors while public uh, have noticed uh, that uh, all schools have gone online but their private uh, schools continue uh, to have uh, classrooms uh, public are just uh, inquiring what is the difference between the two uh, the Ministry of Education, and there will be a press conference tomorrow with participation of the Ministry of Education, with their colleagues from the Ministry of Health. They are monitoring the situations at all the schools, and opening of classes or schools uh, depends on many factors, including the spread of the disease in the region of Oman, firstly. Secondly, how well equipped the school to follow the instruction and the precaution that needs to be taken. But there is no preference between private or government schools. The Minister of Education is responsible for, uh, for education. They are looking at the interest of the students and their, family, their families. And their protection and safety is their 
basically their major response, ma ma major aim, and that's what they are looking at, mainly safety of children and the family and the staff, of course, at these schools. And there have been some cases in some schools which are open, but I always keep reminding people that schools are part of the community. If the disease spread in the community, it will spread schools, it will spread at shopping malls, everywhere. So what we need to work together, if not to stop the spread of this virus, it to slow it as much as possible. And we can do that. It can be done, and there are countries which did it. They, they managed to do it. We just need to remind each other and ourselves to do again what we know is, uh, act, is uh, protective. This is best than the vaccine now, because the vaccine is not available. It's available, affordable, and we know it's protective.